Prime Minister Narendra Modi prays before an idol of the Hindu god Ram ahead of construction starting on a temple in the deity's honor. It's a moment many of India's nearly one billion Hindus have waited decades for. This temple will be the symbol of our perennial faith and nationalism. It will also be symbolic of the united strength of hundreds of millions. But division over the site has led to some of the worst religious violence in India's history and security has been heightened. In 1992, thousands of Hindus from around the country came to the town and destroyed the 16th century Babri Mosque and 22 others. 18 of the Muslims living in the town were killed, including relatives of Taibu Nisha and Muhammad Shahid. We lost everything in the violence. My sawmill was here. We had thousands of dollars worth of wood. They set everything on fire. They killed my husband and brother-in-law. They tore up the Quran in our mosque and started stamping on the pages. We tried collecting the pages. The atmosphere kept getting worse. They started attacking people here. The religious violence spread beyond Ayodhya. Muhammad Shahid's father and uncle were two of more than 2,000 people who were killed around the country. Leading members of the Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janta Party are on trial for conspiring to destroy the mosque. The BJP had long promised to build a Ram temple. It was first elected to govern the country in the general election following the mosque's destruction. Once BJP started movement surrounding Babri Masjid, then gradually it became a symbol of uh, you know, India's secularism. That is where the destruction really created a new kind of political environment, created a new kind of political force, and uh, that force ultimately is now ruling the country. After the legal battles over the site's ownership, the Supreme Court ruled last year that it belongs to Hindus. Now, 30 years after he joined the campaign for a Ram temple, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is inaugurating its construction. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.